Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1616, William Shakespeare passes away today. In 1702, Queen Anne is crowned at Westminster Abbey in London. In 1775, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart's opera, The Shepherd King, is first produced in Salzburg. In 1789, President-elect George Washington moves into Franklin House in New York. Remember, there was no White House yet. In 1791, 15th U.S. President James Buchanan is born, but he wasn't president yet. In 1860, the Democratic Convention in Charleston, South Carolina becomes divided over slavery. In 1861, Robert E. Lee is named commander of the Virginia Confederate Forces. In 1867, Queen Victoria and Napoleon III turned down plans for a channel tunnel. I guess it was about 100 years too early. In 1891, Jews are expelled from Moscow, Russia. In 1900, the New York Journal publishes the word hillbilly. It is the first known use of the word. In 1928, Shirley Temple is born today. In 1931, the American film classic The Public Enemy, starring James Cagney and Gene Harlow, was released. In 1936, musician Roy Orbison is born. In 1940, dance hall fires in Natchez, Mississippi kill 198 people. In 1945, the concentration camp Flossenburg is liberated. Also in 1945, U.S. troops in Italy cross the River Po. In 1948, ABC TV, KSTP Channel 5 in St. Paul, Minneapolis, Minnesota begins broadcasting. In 1953, the movie Shane, starring Alan Ladd and Gene Arthur, is released. In 1954, Hank Aaron hits the first of his 755 homers. In 1955, Kismet closes at the Ziegfeld Theater in New York City after 583 performances. In 1959, Destry Rides Again opens at the Imperial Theater in New York City for 472 performances. In 1962, the New York Mets win their first game ever. Also in 1962, launched from Cape Canaveral, Ranger 4 becomes the first U.S. space probe to reach the moon. In 1965, the Four Tops release their song, I Can't Help Myself, Sugar Pie Honey Bunch, and it becomes the Billboard Song of the Year. In 1968, the United Methodist Church is formed. In 1969, over 1,000 square miles are flooded in Shangtung Province, China. Also in 1969, Sirhan Sirhan is sentenced to death for killing U.S. Senator Robert F. Kennedy. In 1971, arguably their best work, the Rolling Stones release their Sticky Fingers album. In 1972, at the 26th Tony Awards, Sticks and Stones and Two Gentlemen of Verona win. In 1976, the American punk band The Ramones released their debut album. In 1976, Dr. Alan Busey completes 20,302 yo-yo loops. Also in 1977, Milt workers kill 300 to 500 students in Addis Ababa. In 1982, the Conk Republic is established after the tongue-in-cheek secession of the Florida Keys from the United States. In 1984, French virologists announced the discovery of the virus that causes AIDS. In 1985, Coca-Cola releases new Coke. Wow, that didn't go well. In 1986, today was the groundbreaking of the Grand Floridian Beach Resort at Disney World. In 1987, 28 construction workers are killed in an apartment complex in Bridgeport, Connecticut. In 1988, a federal smoking ban goes into effect for domestic airline flights of two hours or less. That changes to all flights pretty soon. In 1989, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar scores just 10 points in his last game as a Laker. Also in 1989, wine merchant William Sokolin breaks a bottle of 1787 Chateau Margaux worth $500,000. Oh, and the belief is that the bottle once belonged to Thomas Jefferson. Oopsie. In 1992, disgraced former mayor of Washington, D.C., Marion Barry, is released from prison. In 1994, the Libertarian Party nominates Howard Stern for governor of New York. In 1995, 
President Clinton declares a national day of mourning for Oklahoma City. In 1996, Sotheby begins a four-day auction of Jackie Onassis items and take in $34.5 million. Also in 1996, at the 42nd British Academy Television Awards, Father Ted wins Best Comedy and Cracker wins Best Drama. In 1996 as well, U.S. docuseries Forensic Files premieres on the TLC network. My family just loves this show. In 1997, at the 32nd Academy of Country Music Awards, Brooks and Dunn, George Strait, and Patti Loveless win. In 1998, James Earl Ray, the convicted assassin of Martin Luther King Jr., died in prison at age 70. In 2001, Fatboy Slim releases the single, Weapon of Choice. The music video features actor Christopher Walken dancing, one of his favorite things to do. In 2002, Pope John Paul II meets with U.S. Catholic Church leaders at the Vatican regarding sexual abuse of minors. In 2003, Beijing, China closes all schools for two weeks because of the SARS virus. In 2005, the very first YouTube video is posted. One year later, the platform had about 100 million videos. In 2009, Gamma Ray Burst 090423 is observed for 10 seconds. It is the most distant and oldest object of any kind in the universe. In 2012, 38,000 London Marathon entrants have their home and email contacts published due to a data breach. In 2013, 28 people are killed and 70 are injured during clashes between police and Sunni Muslims in Iraq. Also in 2013, Star Trek Into Darkness, directed by J.J. Abrams and starring Chris Pine and Zachary Quinto premieres. In 2015, Loretta Lynch is confirmed as the first African-American woman U.S. Attorney General. In 2016, Beyonce releases her sixth album called Lemonade, accompanied by a one-hour film on HBO. In 2018, Marvel's Avengers Infinity War, starring Chris Evans and Robert Downey Jr., premieres in Los Angeles. Also in 2018, a van is deliberately driven into pedestrians in Toronto, Canada, killing 10 people and injuring 13 more. And lastly, in 2021, U.S. President Donald Trump wrongfully suggests at a White House press briefing that COVID-19 might be treated by injecting disinfectant or UV lights into the human body. It just doesn't work that way. Hey, thanks for watching my video today. I appreciate it. There's many more in front of you. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I'll talk to you later.